I'm not fascinated by the, how the brain deteriorates, fascinated by what my husband is able to still do with the experience we provide him. And I think we've done quite a lot on that front. Semantic dementia is a uh, one of the major variants of primary progressive aphasia. It is a disorder that affects a person's uh, semantic memory system. And semantic memory is a sort of our system of knowledge that we build up through through our lifetime. So our knowledge of what words mean, our knowledge of who people are, our knowledge of what things are, that system slowly um, is, is becoming worse and worse. My husband uh, has got semantic dementia. It's language that's really affected. So he has, he has struggled communicating what he wants. The person initially might have problems understanding the meaning of words. So if you said to somebody, uh, please, can you pass me the scissors? They might reply, what are scissors? And as it goes on, they might not even be able to recognize what scissors are. If you, if you put them in front of them, they might not know how to use them. It's had a very significant impact on his life. Um, the prefrontal cortex, you know, is about the executive function, judgment, personality, making decisions even small ones, he struggles with them. And because it's regressive, you know, we're going through a change on a constant basis. The proteins that uh, are sort of causing damage to, to the cells in the brain are the same proteins that we see going wrong in, uh, in a wider group of uh, dementias known as the frontotemporal the dementias. And that's why semantic dementia can also be categorised as, as a type of frontotemporal dementia. When this happened, we just didn't know how to deal with it. Uh, and it was also confusing what that meant if it was a physical illness, you kind of know what it means. But because it's brain, you don't know what exactly he can do and can't do. So that in itself was a struggle. But with encouragement and love and somebody behind him, he can live a very good life.